Back play a team that's me, Hollywood. Uh, uh, yeah. Doing a really big, yeah, big shout out to Uncle Butter. We really appreciate him coming on. I'm right here with Dub the Drug right here. And I got my man William Turnbo better known. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Right now. What's up, Black right Now? Thank right. you, man. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you, man. Now, last time I and the first time I met Black Now was at the dummy um, you know, movie premiere. You know, I've been on this radar for a long, long time, though. You've been no, on this radar yeah, for a long, long, long time. time. I didn't inbox you a million times to come on the show, so finally he's here. Right now, we'll be in the mix, too. Yeah. If y'all go to his profile, you know, on the social media, he be in the mix, man. <laughs> he be in the mix. What do you think about all this stuff? You know, being in the movies, doing this stuff, coming to premieres. Like, where is all this coming from now? It's something that, um... I chose to do in uh, kindergarten to be an exec. My first play I, I performed in kindergarten on Broadway. It's the kindergarten still there. The building's still there. Um, when I did that show, I was... What, hold on, what, what, what uh, play was play it? It was called The King and I. Okay. And, and I got the lead role as a king. And mind you, I was the only black in the play. That turned you out. Oh, I was the only <laughs> black in the play. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he played in that role one time. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I, I knew that as a kid, yeah. but okay. you know, um, when I sang that, everybody stand up at the end of the play, and my aunt asked me after the play, she said, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> Because right. you love the attention and the audulation for what you were I mean, doing. I, I like I like acting and yeah, I like I love the feedback. Yeah, I mean you know I like any job I do. I don't care if it's uh, landscaping or whatever. If I go into something and it looks this way, and when I leave it looks something and get a reaction from the person that is for yeah, that's gratification for me. Okay. So like uh, music and acting is is instant gratification sometimes. Now now black now I'm getting hit. What are some of the other roles you played before besides the dummy? Oh wow, I, I, I've been uh, well. The, the dummy, I was the uh, prisoner. Um, uh, Burial four or five, I did with a, a guy out of California. Um, I was a gangster, gangster role, um, leader of this gang. How was it doing that role? Did you have to? Are you a gangster? It, it, was it a far fetched I mean, thing? I, no, I mean I have my my. I live, I live. You had your time as yeah, I mean, you know, I got a, I got a nine millimeter a quarter inch away from my spine right now. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. You know, that's so what it's I, was, I was out here on some wild, wild shit. Okay. And I was chasing the dude with the gun. Okay. So that's who I am. Okay. And but you know that that moment then. That's yeah, you can kind of sense that in the dummy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of sense it. I mean, you know, I, I'm not I'm not claiming all that, but right, right. but God, <laughs> but God, what God told me in that incident was that you're willing to die for something. Cause see, when I took that bullet, it was for my neighborhood. And then as I as I look back at it, I say, I don't own them streets. I don't own nothing over there. Great I don't even point. know the people that live great there point, right great now. Point. So I took a bullet for what? Right. But what God showed me is that, dude, you willing to die for something. Yeah. So now I'm on a mission of what I'm going to die for. That's family and, 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 and people that treat me good. Yeah. So if you come with some other stuff, yeah. I'm willing to die, to die for, for that. Right. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I got a good read on you now. <clears throat> that's pretty good. So, all right, so it wasn't a far fetched to do those roles, but you're not that person in totality. So right. we get that, and I right. appreciate that. You know, um, what are you looking forward to? Are you got you got anything coming up that you taking part in? Yeah, I'm working with um, uh, Brandon X on the uh, 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 Connective, which is a internet series they're working on, and uh, uh, Toya Marie, uh, a movie called Trick. I'm doing a character as a bodyguard in that. In the connective, I'm a, a boss, part of the Boss Kings, so that's more related to the streets. Let me ask you a question, Black right Now. How do you keep it popping in between roles? Like, people out there that want to get into the business, like you guys are in the business, you know, how do you stay busy in between roles and how do you promote yourself so you can pick up the next opportunity? Well, I like to play with social media. Okay. You know, I, I do little skits like I have a Lester skit. 
I, I, I put on uh, social media. That you write and partake yeah. in yourself? Well, yeah, it's a little dumb. Name. You remember the little less than dumb? He's hilarious. No, I ain't. Oh, well, I brought him to life now. You gotta check it, check that out. I well, that's like, uh, the, the, check that out. Lester, for real. Lester, uh, Lester. The Van Trillers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Van but, uh, and you got one of them things? Well, I got the I got the original one from when I was a kid. And you when put I put that on live, you said you put that on live. Yeah, that's on my page. It's on yeah, my Facebook page that. and all that. Uh, I see that. And what I do now, instead of him sitting in my lap, he'll be sitting there and I'm sitting here and I film it with my phone. And I cut to him, and I'm I'm making oh, where I move dope. his jaw, and, and yeah, yeah it's, um, oh, so that's dope. I do things like that. And I what, keep what's your it. what's your that's on Facebook? That's on Facebook. Let everybody know where it's at so they can go see that. It's uh, facebookcom slash, uh, William Blacknow Turnbow is my personal page, and then I also have my music page. It's facebookcom slash Blacknow. Nah, I'm not hip to that. I feel like uh, I feel like I'm so slow right now. Where <laughs> the loop, baby? Uh, Were you in the loop? I'm in the loop, but I've been in the streets. And I ain't been here. Oh God! So what kind of music do you do, Black Man? I do hip hop, R and B. Uh, I do everything, but right now I'm focusing on the hip hop. I got the hip hop. Like a, you rap? Oh, I rap for two, right? Yeah, and I got yeah. my crew, Silverback Gorilla Gang. Uh, Silverback Gorilla Gang. Silver so it's back. all coming clear. Yeah. You got a question? Yeah, um, I, it's not a question. I'm just gonna tell you that that um, one track you did with Microphone Fiend was fire. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I, that was. Oh, nice. you rapped Appreciate over that. um the uh, Rock Kim. Oh, oh yeah, with Rock Kim, Microphone Fiend. Yeah. yeah. So it's got like a message to your music type thing. Yes, I always. I mean, hey, I got to. I mean, it's, it's, if you listen, it's going to be a mess. I'm not going to misguide you, mislead you. I mean. So your ventriloquist skits, your music, you use all those things to keep yourself popping in between gigs. To keep myself in people's face. Like, like, like my brother said, he said he's been, he been watching me for a while. I didn't know that. Yeah. But he might have seen some of the stuff I'm talking about. Had I not put it out there, right. I'd be a stranger right now. Right. So I keep, I try to keep. I mean, I've been contacting you for years, like that. <laughs> no, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, I'm starting to feel bad. <laughs> 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 I'm doing this, man. Hollywood check. It was no, hey, it was no disrespect. <laughs> no. So, are you hit the Doug the Drug and Recovery right now? Oh, yes. I, I met Doug at the premiere of the uh, Dummy. Okay. Yeah, he's been looking. Did you know he do music? Yes, I do. I do. When I first saw him, I, thought, I really thought he was the rapper, CEO you first saw of, you? of a company. Oh, is that right? I embraced him. Yeah. What do you think of his music? You ever heard it? His music's dope. Yeah? Dope. Would y'all ever consider doing something together? Like, you know, you know, business wise, maybe you can do something on his label or something like that? Or oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Collaborations always good. Features always good, <laughs> Features oh, always good everybody. Yeah. Don't always think about the money first. It'll come later. Yeah. Now Doug, you get as many features as you can. Be on mixtapes. You got a project yourself, right? Oh, I got a couple projects. The, the most recent is the Epidemic? The new Epidemic album, yes. The new Epidemic. How many How many cuts to the good? That's 24 tracks. 24 and, tracks! And, and five producers, 11 rappers, uh, two singers. Wow. Real that's ice out of there. From, that's from, a lot from, of from Cali to Tally, Tallahassee. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of energy on that Betty. joint right there. You know, so do you got a single that you put forth going forward? Yes, I got a singer, I got a poet that's, that's on, on the song. No, a single. Or a single? Yeah, that's Yes, it's called uh, This Is My Addiction. This Is My Addiction. And it can be heard on Reverb Nation. So are you speaking your truths in the song? Yes, that was uh, actually the start of Doug the Drug. Okay. That, okay. Was, that started the, the ball. That started the ball rolling. And the idea. Now, is your, going back, after listening to your final product, after, after it got mixed down and everything, and you listen to your stuff word for word, song for song, track for track, did it end up being like therapeutic for you? Yes, it was very therapeutic and they played it inside of a drug program. They played it inside of a drug yeah, program? Yeah, the staff said they loved my song so much that they let yeah. all, the, all the residents hear it. The females, yeah. the Wow, the that's dad. cool. And this is like a, a trained staff, like yeah. a drug counselor. First of all, <laughs> hold on, fair than that. At a rehab place, they got to play your music. They got a lot of confidence in your music. They really like your message. They're not gonna do that. No, they're not gonna do they're that. They're not gonna do not that. Not without They're not gonna do that. I'm it's sorry. It's very rare, yes. So you know he wasn't on there talking about, yeah, Papa Molly, we're gonna fuck up a check. <laughs> <laughs>
But no, no disrespect to if you effing up the check. You're taking some rally, you know. I'm just saying we just not on that right now. No, we ain't on that tip right now. So we, how, we on a sober tip. So Doug, tell me, how did that make you feel when that happened? When they played this stuff for these recovering addicts, man, what did that do for I you? I saw a dream. I saw a dream and I was gonna one day get awards. Be on the show. Yeah, let's go. And be on TV, Rose Star, all that. Be on TV now, baby. Amen. You know, well, I gotta say, whatever accolades you get in the future, they're gonna be well deserved. But you already got one right now in those experiences right now that's went a long way because you're helping other people. R real tangible things. Yeah. You know, you you know, it's one thing to be on the record and rapping and encouraging people to to go out and do some dumb stuff. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of that. So I don't do what you hear on the on you know the latest music. I talk about I scare you away from drugs. That's the the drug. I'm gonna scare you away from doing cocaine, heroin. Now we're gonna, we're gonna end up taking a break. You wanna close the show out? Yeah, I just wanna song? say a shout out to my, my family. Go ahead. To, uh, Stanley Walker and um, Governor Geo Washington coming up. Yeah, yeah. music. It's hot. Y'all don't miss it. Please don't miss it. That's Big dope. Show. Now, if you want somebody to patronize your music and, and follow you on the social media, let them know right now. Uh, just go to my Facebook page, Douglas Wiley, a.k.a. Doug the Drugs, and Reverb Nation. And I'm also on SoundCloud, I think. You're not in the digital no, stores just yet? Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to get on our platform soon. What about you, Black Now? Are you in the digital stores? Yes, I, I have, yeah, I have music on iTunes. Um, yeah, tell them the name of the track so they can go in there and patronize uh, you. Name His of the track. <laughs> name of the track. I got an album. Uh, oh, you got an album up there. Yeah, I got an album and some singles. I mean, I just put stuff out sporadically. The hit single. The hit single. Yeah, the hit single. Uh, breathe. Uh, that's on iTunes. Breathe. That's on iTunes. That's on iTunes. So it's Black Now on iTunes. Yeah, I mean, if you look up, see the way this set up is, is you got to put in the Black Now. The I'm sorry. The Black or Black. or Black Now the Don Wookie Loop. Okay. So it's, I mean, this is kind of confusing, but you put it black now, because if you put it just black now, it might yeah, be a jazz artist. Yeah. So the black now. It's the black now or Don Wookie Lou, and that's going to pull up a lot of my music. Uh -huh. SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, and uh, Facebook, and things of that nature. That's dope. 25th Dynasty. We're going to take a break, and we're going to close the show out with Doug the Drug. What you know about that? Play it yeah. to me. Oh, the drug.